Yeah, my bag didn't arrive. No baggage. Zero kg. It's good to be back in the Gambia. We're on our way now to have a fun look at the land. This is going to be my first look at it. It's better than I thought. 62 and then 62, 42, 52. Oh, it's big. And it's a good location as well. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So the mess should be in there. So maybe they must give this way. My bucket is trying to bounce. I'm like, nah, nah, let me walk through one more time. By the way, this wasn't planned between me and Spot Project. Spot Project done the borehole for my auntie around the corner from here. And I found this land. All oh, this hassle is gone. I forgot about it, man. And there's a new lease of life in me. I'm so happy. Wallahi, alhamdulillah. Muhammad al well, I actually need like two or three thobes. I think I'll be good to go then. Measure this man. Closed. It's been going on errands, missions, after mission, after mission. Shaykh Saleh, keep halak, shaykh barak. Jayyid, alhamdulillah. The main mission was to actually get closed. But then I'm like, ah, oh, there's this spot over here. Where is it? Farato. Okay, I know a guy. We need to go. After this, I'm like, oh. Is Birikama close to Farato? Yeah, let's go to Birikama. I have a mission around the corner, but I was like, you know what's around the corner as well? The land that we're about to buy. We're just gonna go have a little walk around. I'm showing Muhammad the driver of the land. What you think? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Stats from here, look, from here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They remembered me from yesterday. Very, very good, you know? You like it? Yeah, very like it. I don't want to cut down the mango tree, but they said I might have to cut it down. There's mango trees, there's cashew trees, there's orange trees, there's lemon trees, there's everything here. Good. It's perfect. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Yes. Follow, follow me, yeah? Yes. One, two. Quick pit stop, back to our errands. Two more missions, then we're gonna go to spa. Also, while we're on our way to our missions, I'm looking out for shirts, I'm looking out for clothes. I'm like, yo, stop here, stop here. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, you can't. I'm like, why? There's shirts, they're selling shirts. He goes, it's youth clothes. What do you think of this land, bro? He goes, oh, this is amazing. So what do you think of that land? Oh, this is so good as well. Do you think it'll be expensive? Very expensive, it's on the highway. It's not good land, brother. How's it not good land? It's not good land, brother. Why? Because there's no electricity. But there's electricity! <laughs> I was like, no, there's no electricity. Now there's electricity. Yeah. Now there's electricity. See that? Like one kilometer down. Yeah. So if we were to buy land at that area, which looked good, it would cost us maybe 15, 20 thousand dollars trying to get electricity to that area. It's mad that they're advertising that. Let's stop a spot project. Back on the road for more missions! Allahu Akbar! Also, I still need to purchase clothes. Still haven't got clothes, man. This is gonna be peak. I don't think we're gonna have time. We're gonna get time. So, Bro, I just need one, two, two shirts. I'm gonna have you. That's have it. Two shirts. We can love it. Of course, the guy is getting full tank. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time I got full tank? Ah, I couldn't even remember. Hello. <laughs> you need to focus on the road, not looking at the gas gauge. Focus on the road. <laughs> So I just checked into my new hotel. I wasn't too happy about it this time. I'm not even gonna lie to you, especially that the shower wasn't really working. But they said they were trying to call me because there was no rooms available. So they just kind of gave me this spare room. Gave me Wi-Fi, my own Wi-Fi router. And come on man. Come on, man. Five star review for them books. I'm not gonna lie to you, the treatment of this hotel, top notch. Oh, I didn't even order this. Next day, I got clothes from the UK, straight from Penny's. I called the Bubakar. I was like, get me bottoms, get me a few white tops, and I'm good to go. Alhamdulillah, now I have clothes. If you see me in the same outfit every single day, it's not because I don't have different outfits, it's because it's the same outfit times three. Also, before you mistake in this place for my orphanage, because that happened the last time. This is Spot Project. These are the people that are going to be helping me build my office because they've done this.
بصر طليقك نحو النجاة وحلق بروحك نحو الغماء فإن كبلتك ذنوبك يوما وصرت ذليلا لها بالخطام وبات فؤادك يشكو أذاها وصار لها في المكان زخام توسل إلى الله في خلوة تضرع إليه بجنح الظلام <تصفيق> السلام عليكم ما جزا الله جزا الله جزا الله في بلاني تهاوكم سو مجموعة 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 عند قبلة سين this way the brothers are praying straight we disrespect them or do we pray you know in the way they're praying but we're thinking maybe the iPhones and the technology is actually wrong and they actually have a right الله أعلم عبد الله هنا Come on, I'm like Abdullah. 26, I came here last year to this specific village and you've seen the classrooms. If you know, you know. These are the new classrooms right here. Here's the old classroom. Remember? And they used to be sitting on these buckets. So this is the full center. They've been built in three classrooms. They have a medical clinic and they have like a multi-purpose hall. It's hot on a different level. Wherever we go, he's at the top just cooling down. Man, come on, bro. I'm more gumby than you. I'm out here chilling in the heat, and this butter's at the tap 24 7. Whenever I'm seeing you, I'm seeing your head under the tap. Oh, I want a wall. Today is too hot, bro. Come on, man. You You're gumby. Let me put water in my <laughs> head, bro. <laughs> but you see this? This will dry out in like the space of two minutes, and then he's gonna come here again. And then put his head under the tap again. Going to the tap, and this guy's mocking me. And then I'm clocking that he's actually wet as well. <laughs> so he's been under the tap himself. Oh. <laughs> لنا حليف وترهبنا الجحافل. These brothers always have weapons on them. Show me your blades, brother. This guy has a blade. This guy is ready to shove someone up. Oh, he threw it away. I caught you, brother. Don't worry. You're not slick. You know why? Because it's here. Oh, he threw it away. So Bob is white boy, by the way. So they've been calling me to Bob. So I'm making a a nasheed, a tobab nasheed. Yeah, tobab, oh yeah, tobab. Yeah, tobab, oh yeah, tobab. Oh yeah, tobab, oh yeah, tobab. Yeah, tobab, oh yeah, tobab. Allah, Allah, Allah. Yesterday I went turbo mode in salah, and this guy's complaining. He wants me to go faster than turbo mode. I know that was easy. No, that was easy. Yeah, wasn't it? It was no, turbo mode, it's sir. It's easy, but we're outside, bro. Of course. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Blame yourself, blame yourself. Okay. He knows what he's doing, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> we just prayed Lord Nasr, now back on the road. This whole journey has just been on the road. Three hours up, it's going to be three hours back. <laughs> so you know the main reason for me being here is to actually purchase the land and some of my paperwork is taking some time. It should have been done by today, but they're promising tomorrow. And time's running out. I like Abdullah, you know. Documents are not correct. You start building and, and they block your block, they block your land. And yeah, this is the longest you. thing for us. Yeah. Even if it took two years, it, it's better than that. Because once you get that, number one problem in the court here, land dispute. Yeah. 
And the, the thing is, when you buy a land here and you get screwed, you're not getting your money back. Yeah, you can dispute it. for 10 years, but you ain't getting that corn back. I'd rather be patient in yeah, the year. Yeah, that's a man as well. Yeah, it's long after. Yeah, it's, it's, I'd rather it's not my personal, it's not my personal That's what I'm saying, so you have to do it right. It's better you be patient in the year than you do scatting manoeuvres. Yeah. And Mine's then pay for land and then, you know, tomorrow, donors are like, what, what's, what's, what, what kind of animal is this guy? <laughs> Didn't do no due diligence, didn't do nothing, just go and buy land, then you have to explain to people the land is not legit. Patience is the key, bro. It's a long time project, it's not an in and out thing. Yeah. Yeah. Around with the volunteers, just showing them all the, all the projects. When I open my orphanage, I'm going to have a similar program. Give you guys the ability to fundraise and then come see the project see what it's like obviously spot are bigger they have uh, borehole projects as well i think it would just be sick to get you guys down just for the orphanage chill see the kids i'm excited man i'm saying all this and it's not having actually officially still haven't bought the land <laughs>